Hello everybody, I'm your host Jason Skyler. If you don't remember, I used to only post horror game videos on my YouTube channel until Skibbity Toilet absolutely took over. I know some of you were disappointed, so I have great news for you guys. I started my second channel that's going to be all just horror games. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that channel. It's called Chasing Skyler Horror. I'll link it down in the description box below. Let's start the react. If you guys haven't followed Dom Studios, make sure you guys go follow Dom Studios right now and watch their original video on their channel. We're going to be reacting to Skibbity Toilet Multiverse Episode 19. Part one. I don't know how many parts this episode's coming in, but the first one is over two minutes long, so let's go watch it. Here we go. Nice pen twirl. Wait, who's the POV? Oh, here come the clowns. What are they talking? They're talking. They're talking to each other. Uh oh, he stepped on candy. Dude, run. Wait. Invisible ink? No way. Invisible ink? That's hilarious. You got so lucky. Whoa! Yes! Upgraded Titan Spiggerman coming in. Dude, he's kicking butt. These clowns are super annoying. Yes! I love his chain swing. <laughs> Matt Luna's animation. Oh, what is that acid? God, man, this, wait, guys, look, look at this animation. Look, I love this part where he swings it back. And then, yes, yes. All the lasers. Okay, okay, I want to see him grab him and toss him into that drink. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! <laughs> so he grabs this one clown, shoves his face into the water, and he's got the other clown, and he's blasting him with his uh, jet pack here, where his flamethrower is on his back. Boom! Man, talk about multitasking. I love it. Good job, buddy. Wait, this is a new clown. I haven't seen him yet. It's a jester. Laugh it up, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He's begging for mercy. He got wrecked, man. That guy's traumatized. Hey, Titan speaker or cameraman. Titan cameraman, my buddy. They're a team. Okay, we're together. Oh no. Wait, that's a scientist, right? Yeah, it is. Scientist stop time. Oh, yes. Bring it on. That's my boy, Titan Caraman. Always ready for a fight. Love that episode. So the next one, it looks like Titan Caraman and Titan Speakerman are going to face off with the Scientist Toilet and Pennywise. I think that's going to be a good one. Part two is going to be wild. You might as well check out the analysis video by Elite Clockwoman. Hello, everyone. Hey, it's Elite Clockwoman. Okay, let's check out the analysis. Elite Clockwoman here. This is going to be good. Literally not long ago, part one of episode 19 was released. And in it, we saw a dynamic battle between the Speaker Man and the clowns. And also at the end of the video, we saw the same clown. That's Pennywise. right. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Elite Clockwoman as well, guys. I'll, link, I'll leave her link down in the description box below. Let's get into the video. At the beginning of the episode, we see a special POV cameraman who was in an exclusive video. Yeah, who is this POV? The Dom studio was shared with me. And we see how he plays with his miracle pen. Also in this shot, we see the inscription circus, which confirms Ooh. that this is an abandoned circus. We also see that this it's agent a has a location. different uniform. And he is special, and he also has special abilities. Yeah, I noticed that. His that uniform future, is definitely different colored. We will see even more special agents POV, since it was in episode 17, where we saw a POV camera woman. And this is very pleasing. We also see that he is spying on the clowns, and we already see how one of the clowns is patrolling territory. And then we already see a group of three clowns who are communicating with each other. And we can notice how the special agent covers his ears while the clowns began to talk. And probably because their sound is really disgusting and perhaps too loud for him. <laughs> the clowns are disgusting. 
That's not creepy looking. We can also notice a green liquid on the ground. And I have two options what it is. It's either it is acid or some type of sewage sludge. But it is acid, since we know that Skibidi toilets are used acid in their weapons. And That's the second right. option is that this is an abandoned lake. Since it is on abandoned lakes that there is such green water. And it seems to me yeah, that algae, this right? algae. is located on an abandoned lake. But also write your versions in the comments. But the age... It could be just, you know, disgusting sewage sludge because they're toilets. That doesn't that make sense? That makes sense. Didn't step on know. something and made a noise, and the clowns noticed it. Oh god! And now we see the special look at the, ability of look at the game. look at bro's face, man. Look at bro's face. Not gonna lie, that's kind of freaky. Special ability of this agent. He used ink from his pen and splashed it on his hand. Invisible he ink. He became invisible, <laughs> and this is an amazing ability. It and is pretty help, cool. He can quietly monitor the toilets. Press like button if you would also like to have this ability. Yes, a second later, definitely. A clown came to check what kind of noise it was, and he looks around. But since our spy is not visible, he cannot notice him, and he leaves. Wow, and also he got lucky. Frame, he got so lucky. House. And near this house, we see scary mannequins. And this means that this is a house of horrors. Which is also oh, I love House of Horrors. In real life, or a house with funny horrors jump out at you at unexpected moments. The sign also says that this is a fun house. Fun houses? Guys, fun houses and haunted houses are, the, are the probably my, my favorite things to go to in the theme park. I always go to Halloween Horror Nights in, um, at Universal Studios. It's, it's so well done. Go there looking at these creepy clowns. But a second later, we see a flying toilet that fell <laughs> to the ground. We also see a crazy clown who is laughing, and finally we see the Titan Speakerman who came to deal man, with the Man, upgraded Titan Speakerman looks amazing, man. Look at him. I love his armor. It, it's got this kind of Isaac Dead Space vibe to it. I love it. And this crazy clown immediately begins to attack him. And a second later, we see the speaker man shooting with a laser at this clown. But the clown dodges and flies into close combat and grabbed the speaker man. And the speaker man tried to take him off. But other clowns also attacked him. There, okay, wait, 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 wait. Look at this animation, guys. Even though it's in slow motion, it still looks like there's so much animation going on here. Look at all the movements that are happening at the same time in one Speaker frame who came to deal with these clowns like these, and this crazy clown immediately it's unbelievable how much animation is going later, on in these episodes the man shooting with a laser at this clown got his laser the clown dodges and flies into close clowns flying and up and got speaker man oh my god and look at this animation man tried to take him off look but at other this clowns also attacked him so we can notice that crazy the man can release his claws to catch enemies just like this was done by titan drill man in episode 11 and Speakerman successfully caught this clown and threw him to the ground and started shooting lasers move. at other monsters. But the clowns don't give up and start attacking him. And the Speaker Man decided to refresh one of the clowns <laughs> and stuck his face in the water and successfully fried the other clown. That was the best also move. In that frame, we can see in detail the cannon of this mutant from which he shot at the Speaker Man earlier. And it is quite powerful since there was a big explosion. Oh. Also, when the fried clown exploded, we can notice green smoke after it. And this means that they are made from unusual materials, and perhaps they can cause some damage if they ex they're, they're made from fun gas. ...blowed nearby. But suddenly, someone shot a very powerful laser at the speaker man, and it turned- Imagine, imagine when they explode and their smoke goes up in the air. It's kind of like the Joker's laughing gas, and then the Titans can't stop laughing. That'd be funny. Turned out that it was a crazy clown who was sitting on the house, and we can notice that he has a core, and it's the oh, same yeah. as G-Man's in the original- He does have a toilet, core. And it's damn powerful. As really? We see a very large laser beam. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really that was a really big beam, hands. yeah. And he clearly has problems with the brain. But why am I He's saying this? <laughs> He's got problems with the brain because he won't stop laughing. This is already evident from him. He'll get what's he coming to him though. Speaker man, but the speaker man slowly approaches that clown and begins to beat him. And in this frame, we <laughs> I don't, can see the inscription. I don't know why, but this part was really satisfying. Inscription: Spank on his turbines. But perhaps Spank. this also means nothing like the QR code that was on the cameraman Titan gun. Maybe. We can also notice a new weapon on his back. Oh, that and it's axe. it's a large axe for close combat. That axe almost looks from like, from like the Viking age. But in episode 17, he didn't have an axe. And it was probably at a local sale over the weekend. Local and sale? And delivers powerful blows <laughs> and also releases a sound wave to drown out this crazy clown. And this clown fell to the ground. And it Man, seems that look, he's, that clown's having a rough time right now. I think he regrets. I think he regrets laughing. He will no longer bother us. Exactly. We noticed another clown who was watching all this, <laughs> and it is clear from him that he does not want to be beaten up as well. That clown's traumatized right now. Well, and tries to escape, but gets hit by a hammer from the cameraman and explodes. And finally, Ooh. our brothers are together, 
and the speaker yes. man shows thumbs up. But suddenly, he was shot from a clock gun, and the speaker man froze for a second. But it turns out that he can resist this weapon, and he was able to move again. That's good. He's going to need to be able to resist the time stops from the scientist. But how is he able to resist this ability? In fact, because he has a clockman watch that protects against temporary abilities, the watch is very difficult to notice, but it is there in this frame. And oh yeah, that is so hard to see. We already know that it was the Skibidi scientist who fired from it. And also from behind, we see the clown Pennywise. And it's immediately important note that Pennywise is as large as the Skibidi scientist. And the, oh, the Pennywise almost looks a little bit taller. Skibidi scientist is about the same size as the Titans. And they are quite strong opponents. Since the scientist has acid and also powerful lasers, and we also don't know what abilities Pennywise has, but I am sure that he is very strong, and it will not be easy for a Titan to fight Whoa, with these two. Pennywise is creepy. Also know and now let's discuss some of my theories. All right, what here we go. We theory time. Part two of episode 19. We will see a fierce battle between the Titans and the scientist. 100%. That's what I said too. There's gonna be. There's probably gonna be a fierce battle. Like this whole episode was setting up this big battle. It's gotta be. Perhaps we will even see TV Man in this episode. TV Since Man? in the original Skibidi Toilet, there was also a battle between the scientist and the Titans, and the Titans lost there, and then TV Man Titan came to the rescue. And perhaps That's true. we will also see TV Man Titan in part two of episode 19. And by the way, we forgot about G-Man. We haven't seen him in the series for a very long time. It's interesting that the uh, uh, the G-Man hasn't appeared that much in the series. I like that they're dealing with like new characters and original ideas because a lot of the Skippy Toilet series have been dealing with G-Man for a long time now. And I, I like I like seeing things new. I like seeing new things. So I, I think the I think where Dom Studios has gone with the Skippy Toilet multiverse is great. Scientist has a partner, Pennywise. Although we do not know the abilities of Pennywise, it seems to me that the Titans will be able to defeat the scientist without the help of TV Man, since now they are at their peak of strength. And we also have not seen all the abilities of Cameraman Titan, and do not forget that he has claws, and they will definitely be able oh, yeah. to greatly harm the toilets in close combat. Look at, the, look at this screenshot, man. This screenshot's amazing. We got all the weapons out. We got Titan, a uh, Titan, Titan Caravan is not Titan Caravan anymore. He's, he's Titan Gunship or Titan Gunman. Sorry, Titan Gunman. And I think that in part two, the Titans will defeat the toilets and the scientist will also escape from the battlefield as always. And already in episode 20, we will see the big battle that the Dom studio was talking about in the- Oh, a big fight is coming. Yes. The description under episode 18. And it is in this episode that we will see the Titan TV man and perhaps some new characters. Also, maybe three Titans might show up. Yeah, maybe. Write your theories about part two of episode 19 and also write what details I missed in my analysis. And if you enjoyed watching, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as an interesting video will be released on my channel soon. Thank you so much, Elite Clockwoman. Yes, guys, that concludes tonight's video. I love that episode. I can't wait for more. Let me know. In the comments below, what should I react to next? Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Elite Clockwoman and Dom Studios. Great night, guys. Great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.